Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy. I've tried to do this intro like 17 times, but my ring doorbell thing keeps going off. Um, yes, I look a little bit different because I shaved my beard. So I'm having, uh, or I had, I guess, a Britney moment and uh, now this is the new crafty DIY guy. I'm a little more a little more polished, I guess. Hey, if you're one of my regular subscribers, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys. If you're one of my brand new ones, thanks for checking out the channel. Um, if you are brand new here, maybe you're not a subscriber yet, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you'll like it and you'll give me a thumbs up and you'll consider being one of my regular subscribers. Um, Today's video is really cool because it's actually a collaboration video. It's a home decor collaboration video between myself and The Crafty Couple. Now, if you're not familiar with The Crafty Couple, definitely check out their channel. In fact, this little mountainscape is one of their, one of their project ideas. I totally saw it and loved it and created it. And there's actually a couple other projects around here that are their projects as well that, again, I just loved it as soon as I saw it. So. We decided to collaborate. They actually reached out to me. I was very honored. And uh, we decided to do like a home decor collaboration. So that's what this video is gonna be about and that's what their video is about. Their video is actually linked below in the description. So be sure to check out their video after you've checked out mine. So rather than me rambling and talking all the time, let's just get to the video, all right? I saw another YouTuber do that and I thought it was really cool. So I'm gonna do that now. That's gonna be my, my like send off. All right guys, here's the video. All right, for our first project, you are gonna take a round binder ring from Dollar Tree, a hose clamp, I just grabbed this one from my toolbox, and then also a sharp pair of uh, clippers or pliers, and then also a round mirror from Dollar Tree. You're gonna separate the mirror from the frame. I actually just have a frame here that I'm gonna kind of use as the example. You're gonna separate your hose clamp here um, just by unscrewing this. And then when you do kind of separate this, then you'll just kind of start to bend it with your pliers. And the idea is for this to sit kind of on top of the frame itself. Kind of imagine it uh, like the top of a pocket watch, really. That's kind of what we're going for and see how it's just kind of fitting on top of here. The ring is gonna actually go behind this. So when you bend this, make sure that you're leaving a lot of, um, you know, space so you can fit that binder ring in there and still glue it down. And then I just kind of eyeballed it and then bent it again and then clipped it. And now you can see I'm taking some E6000 and gluing my binder ring right to the actual kind of clip itself, kind of creating that illusion of the top of a pocket watch. And then I am gonna go in with some hot glue as well, just to kind of help speed that E6000 drying process along. And then uh, once you've done this and you've kind of got it set to where you need to have it set, um, I would just go ahead and put it aside and let it dry. So now mine is dry here and uh, you can see that it does fit on top of the mirror, which is great. And so, hi guys, there I am in the reflection. <laughs> and then uh, I am going to take mine and just cover it with a little bit of chalk paint because this is going to help the paint adhere to this metal. That hose clamp metal is, is definitely different than regular metal and spray paint does not adhere very well to it. I learned that the hard way. Um, I took everything outside and then just spray painted it with some antique gold. That way it looked like a gold pocket watch. And then um, I also found this chain that I also spray painted with the gold paint as well. I flipped my mirror over. I added some hot glue back to those kind of raised plastic areas where the kind of what was really holding the mirror in to begin with and uh, just put the mirror right back on top of that after I kind of put a couple dots of hot glue in there and then of course got rid of those aggravating glue strings. Um, I just put my mirror down and then when it was time to glue the clamp or the top of the pocket watch, I just made sure that I put a generous helping of hot glue on the inside and then also glued it exactly where the hanging hardware is on the back of the mirror. That way when I hung it on the wall, my pocket watch would be upright. Um, after that dried, I then took my chain and kind of figured out how I wanted to have it hanging. I just put a line of hot glue down along the edge here and then just uh, kind of glued the chain kind of right down on top of that hot glue. That way you could see the chain when it was hanging on the wall like this. I really like this project and I think it's kind of a classic addition to my home. 
I was surfing on Kirklands.com and I fell in love with these lanterns. So I decided that we're going to make some lanterns. So I'm going to grab some of these bamboo skewers that I had in my stash. Also, I'm grabbing four of these wood plaques that are kind of the same shape and size. I wanted my lanterns to be the same size, just there will be different heights. Um, when you start to pry these off, take my advice and put your hand over the top of them as you are prying this kind of metal top off of here. These are just thumbtacks that are down here and they will fly up in the air and you will step on them. Trust me, I learned this the hard way as well. <laughs> so once you've removed the metal pieces and then the... Um, Bet the burlap go ahead and just put it aside save it for another project and then i took my plaques outside and just kind of sanded them down the glue on top of these are extreme um, i don't know what dollar tree is using but uh, the sander will not remove it all so i took two of the plaques that will serve as my top pieces and painted them navy then i took the two that will serve as my bottom pieces and painted the sides navy then taped them off with some protective tape and then sprayed the tops of them gold. When you go to assemble these, it'll make much more sense. My sticks, I just stuck them in some floral foam and then spray painted them with that same antique gold that I was using on the uh, previous plaques. So now that I've got my plaques kind of dry and ready to go and my sticks are also dry, I'm going to now assemble everything. So I took my wood plaques and I cut down sticks to fit right along the edge of the plaques themselves. And when you do this, you're going to purposely leave just a little bit of space on the four corners of the block because you're going to need those spacings to kind of set your, your height of your towers, if you will, um, up kind of like I'm doing here. So it's important to grab the very kind of flat sides of those sticks and start kind of building your towers here. I did one tower at uh, 10 inches high, and then I did another tower at seven inches high. And you'll see this once you kind of start to build this and, and kind of work within the two different sizes. And then again, just working my way around, kind of working those sticks in between each one of those. And then uh, you can see here, this will serve as the top. This is the part that's all navy. Um, again, gluing sticks down, gluing the gold sticks down, but gluing them right on the edge of that plaque. I could have painted the underside of this if I wanted to all navy, but uh, to be honest, I'm just trying to reserve as much as my paint as possible. And then uh, here you can see kind of how those gold sticks kind of work together. Then I wanted to make some handles for the top of my two towers. So I just did this with the leftover sticks that I had and glued them right on top. And then this is what the finished lanterns looked like. I just added some Dollar Tree candle holders on the inside. And I really, really love the way that these look. And then for the next project, I wanted to create um, some sculptural pieces. So I took these garden uh, wind chimey things um, and some of these wood boxes from Crafter Square. You don't have to worry about what the critter is on the front because you're not even going to see those. I also had some dowel rods that were left over, then of course some hot glue. I took my drill and just drilled a hole down through the center of the top of the box, removing the drawers, and just kind of went in and uh, almost took my hand off there. And then for the box itself, um, I wanted to weigh these down. So I put some rocks in there and then whatever critter you have, go ahead and just put that critter on the inside and then glue your boxes shut. And then for the wind uh, kind of chime pieces, I don't know what they're called. I took some hot glue just down the center and then glued my dowel rods kind of right in the middle there. I did these at two different heights. So you can kind of see like for this one, I kind of took it midway. And then for the round one, you'll notice that I went all the way to the top and that's going to allow the two different heights kind of of our, uh, of our sculptures here that we're working on. And then for this last part, I wanted to make sure that these would stay in here good. So I took some hot glue, sorry, I'm out of frame there, and just put it on the end of the dowel rod and then just fed it right through that hole. I shook it a little to make sure that I was hitting the bottom and not those rocks. That way it was going to be good and sturdy. And then uh, this is kind of what they look like right now before taking them outside to paint them. Um, I had some bronze paint. I unfortunately ran out of my gold paint, but the bronze, I like the way this looks too. 
And then I just gave everything about three coats of very light spray bronze. And then this is what they look like on my mantle. I really love these. I think that they are the perfect addition. To me, they look really high end and I'm super happy with the way that these turned out. You guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed everything. Please remember to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out the Crafty Couples video. It is linked in the comments below. Thanks again, everybody, and stay safe. Take care. Be healthy.